Let's compare extruding in Maya versus Blender. Okay, I feel like extruding is at the core of modeling. It's basically how to grow your shape, how to add more things um, to your shape. And you can see that I'm starting with a cube in each. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how to extrude in Maya um, and also how to ex extrude in Blender. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna kind of tell you which one I like better. So let's go ahead and kind of dive right in. I'm gonna go ahead and start in Maya. So here I am, I just have a simple cube in the scene. And to extrude, I'm going to select a face. Now to get into that mode, I'm gonna right click and hold, and I'm gonna choose face, okay? Now I can see that there's these dots on here. I'm gonna leave those on right now. I'm gonna show you how to get those on in a second. But if I click on one, um, now I can go up here to edit mesh, extrude, and then this appears, okay? Now I can grab the blue arrow and, and bring that out, and there, now I have a full extrusion, okay? Now I wanna kinda point something out here. If I go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and then if I accidentally click off of it, then if I come back here, and then if I go to Edit Mesh, Extrude again, and pull this out, I can see that I forgot to extrude this one. And what, what I mean by that is if I grab this, and just physically move this out, I can see that that extrusion kind of got stuck in there. Um, and that's again, having these space dots on, it's obvious that I forgot to, that I forgot to bring out that extrusion. So um, if you don't have those space dots, what you can do is go to Window, Settings, Preferences, Preferences. And then in the Preferences, if I come down here to Selection, I can choose Polygon Selection and if um, I choose center, it's gonna have those center dots. If I have whole face and hit save, now it's gonna be like this. And you can see that it's kind of impossible to tell if we had something wrong. I can see, ah, I never had that pulled out, okay? So again, if I select this face and go edit mesh, extrude, I don't know if, if I did it right or wrong and now I pull it out, now it's there, okay? So again, when I'm extruding, if I'm doing this, um, kind of for the first time, I might go to window settings, preferences, come here to my selection and then just set this to center. Now I can kind of tell if I extruded it out. Now, if I go to edit mesh extrude, a shortcut for this, I could press G. Okay, now if I press G, you can see that it activated the extrude again and now I'm ready to go. So if I click here, if I press G, now G is not the shortcut for extrude. Instead, G is going to repeat the last tool. So whatever I did in Maya last, I could press G and it's gonna repeat it, okay? Now, here's some other kind of uh, shortcuts for extrude. So if I go to Edit Mesh, I can see that Extrude's actual shortcut is Control-E. So if I was on this and I did Control-E, now I'm ready to extrude and I can see I can pull that out, okay? Now if I was on here, again, Control-E, or I could just press G, if assuming G was the last thing that I did. But I could also do this. If I'm in my regular move tool, which is normally dedicated just kind of move these faces around, if I hold down shift and then grab this arrow, now it's also going to allow me to extrude. So if I hold down shift and grab this arrow, it's gonna allow me to extrude, which may seem like a great idea. However, what becomes really annoying is if you're trying to select a lot of things like this, and then you accidentally do that, you might accidentally extrude. So I, in fact, I hate the fact that this shift option to go to extrude is even exists. I, I think that it's, I've never needed it. I feel like the only thing it does is it screws people up the, the first time that they're using Maya. So I feel like I can see here that when I'm extruding, I gotta be kind of careful of some things that I make sure that I extrude actually out. I can press G to repeat the extrusion. Control E if i starting a new thing and my last tool wasn't extrude. And then I can hold down shift and pull out with a move arrow to do an extrusion. So those are kind of some cool things as far as uh, extruding is concerned. I feel like I could also do this. If I created my own shelf, okay? So I could create the own shelf by going like here and go to new shelf. I could go to edit mesh, here's extrude, I could hold down control shift, 
And now I can add that to the shelf. So anytime I wanted to extrude, I could just come up here and click on that. And now I'm ready to kind of extrude. So that's kind of another way. So those are some kind of cool tricks as far as extruding is concerned in Maya. But let's go ahead and take a look at Blender. All right, so here we are in Blender. And um, again, I want to extrude. So I'm in object mode now, so I have to press tab to get into um, tab to get into edit mode. And then I've got one, two, and three. So I can press one, two, or three, three to get into face mode. I could select this face. And the shortcut, I can just press E and then just start moving. E and then start moving. E and then move. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, if I select this face, another thing I could do is over here, I can see that this is extrude. So if I click on this, I get kind of different ways that I can extrude. So if I go to extrude region, now this is uh, this is kind of interesting. I've got this plus sign that I can pull this out. And you can see that if I wanted to change kind of the, I don't know how far I pulled, I can grab this arrow and now I can kind of choose like how far this goes. And if I grab the plus, it's actually going to add a new extrusion. Notice that I grab the arrow, it doesn't add anything new. But if I grab the plus, now it's adding something new. So if I click here, um, again, if I hit the plus, I can bring that up. If I grab the arrow, I'm kind of changing the, um, the location of that extrusion. Um, the other thing too is that I can go here and let's say if I was ex like selected that and that, well, if I click on this, it's going to extrude out like that, keeping those together. But if I go like this and just switch this to this one, extrude individual, now I can see that it's extruding like that, okay, which is pretty cool. Um, and if I go up here to mesh, I can find, um, well, let's see here, actually under, here's extrude vert, um, vertices, here's face, here's extrude faces. And I can see that again, the shortcut is E. If I wanted to, I mean, I guess this would be kind of slow, but I could right click add to quick favorites. Now, if I selected this face, press Q, and then I could go to extrude, and then I could just pull that out. Now, I feel like that probably doesn't make a lot of sense, um, just because I feel like I might as well just press E and then start bringing that up. Okay, so I feel like, um, again, that's kind of neat. Now, here's, here's another cool thing, is that I have an extrude to cursor. Okay, now what this is, is let's say if I select this face here, I can look at it from the top view. And then I, if I switch this to extrude to cursor, now if I click here, I can see that it's going to extrude to wherever I go to. Okay, this is kind of unique. Uh, Maya doesn't really have an equivalent to this. But I feel like you can see that I'm creating this three dimensional shape. But I can, I don't have to worry about kind of selecting that awkward face, I can just click here and it's going to extrude to the cursor, which I find really a cool, helpful um, feature. So again, really cool. And I think that um, I think that it can save kind of a lot of time. So if we look at I mean, just these few examples that I showed, I feel like my uh, to me feels real clunky. And I feel like my it feels like you need to do it a lot to get in the good habits. And I feel like if you get in good habits and you kind of avoid those errors, it becomes, okay, fine, let, let's not even worry about it. But I feel like in Blender, to me, it seems like a smarter way that they've got the extruding. I feel like it's harder to make a mistake, even if you're new. Um, and so I feel like if I have to kind of do I vote for Maya or do I vote for Blender? I think kind of hands down on the extrusion. I feel like Blender's got my thumbs up. So um, again, not to say that we can't do the same in both programs, but I feel like, um, I just feel like Blender's kind of quicker and cleaner to the point. So hopefully that was helpful. Make sure to like and su subscribe, share this with your friends and uh, keep watching for more kind of blender versus the industry standard software and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, have a great one.